Of course, we've been uh, saying uh, for a number of months now that we are skeptical uh, because there is no intention, real intention on the part of Israel or the United States to push for a real ceasefire. But over the past several weeks, uh, the United States, rather the Biden administration, has began to change its tone and its stance on the question of the ceasefire, even abstaining uh, at the United Nations Security Council in favor of one. And clearly there is a push on the part of the Biden administration for something to materialize. This is new. What's also new is that the Israeli military is taking a bit of a nuanced position of late since the offensive against Rafah has not exactly been working, that they also uh, would like to see a ceasefire. The only obstacle today to a ceasefire is Netanyahu and his government. Everyone else, including the Qataris and the Egyptians, and as I said, the Americans, but even the Iranians and all the Arab world. And today we heard from Hezbollah's chief, Hassan Nasrallah, saying, that certainly his organization wants a ceasefire in Gaza. So again, everyone wants a ceasefire, but not Netanyahu government.